welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Sejuani. So what we're doing here with this deck is we are taking um, kind of like the Teemo Sejuani shell and replacing Teemo with Victor um, because Victor also um, rewards us for playing Ballistic Bot. And really that's what we want to do with this deck is we want to play Ballistic Bot with Sejuani. So Ballistic Bot, of course, has uh, Augment, but then it has Round Start, Create, and Ignition in hand. So every single turn, we'll get an Ignition. A one mana slow card, just deal one to the enemy Nexus. And that is absolutely perfect in this deck for so many reasons. It's a spell, um, and it's a created spell, which of course, that grows the power of Ballistic Bot. It helps our Victor level up. But spells are exactly what we want whenever we're playing cards like Starlet Seer, cast a spell, grant the top ally of our deck plus one plus one, and Puff Cap Peddler, cast a spell, plant three Puff Caps on random cards in the enemy deck. And then also the one damage to the enemy Nexus is perfect for Sejuani, because that's going to have our Sejuani level up um, after we damage the enemy Nexus in five different rounds. Um, so, so that's just perfect. So Ballistic Bot is a really good addition to this kind of deck. We're also going to be playing a new card, Interative Improvement, where we can uh, create a copy of any follower in play and give it plus one, plus one. And so that works great with our cards because we have followers that we want to just be in play the whole time, like the whole game. Like our deck is really built around these three followers with Ballistic Bot, Starlet Seer, and Puff Cat Peddler. Like this is the engine of our deck and we want these followers just to always be in play. And so we can get an additional copy of any of those that we have in play, give it plus one, plus one. And it's also, of course, a spell. And the spells are going to be very valuable. We have Chumplump in here that creates the Mushroom Clouds. Um, that's really good for, for creating cards for your Victor um, and everything with the Augment. And then, of course, the Mushroom Clouds are just more spells for these. So basically what we're going to be trying to do is get lots of Puff Caps in the enemy deck, thanks to Puff Cap Peddler and those Mushroom Clouds, and uh, use the Puff Caps and the... Um, the uh, ignitions from the Ballistic Bot to do damage to the enemy Nexus each round, level up our Sejuani, get Sejuani in play, and so that each time, you know, the beginning, basically the beginning of each turn will be frostbiting all enemies all the time. And so this is kind of like a sit back control deck and just let our cards take over. You know, Vic Victor, of course, every turn makes a one mana spell, which is perfect for our cards, um, keeps giving Victor more keywords and everything like that. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a deck with a, a lot of synergy where we just want to just we want to play very long games Where we sit back and let our, our units take over. So hopefully that's what we'll do uh, So we don't really want to face the really fast decks, right? Because we want like the longer the game the better for us as we can just our, our cards accrue value over time Okay, Zoe Heimerdinger All right, love having the bot to start with. Um, we're gonna get rid of the harsh winds. I'm gonna keep Elixir of Iron to protect bot. That's the other thing, I'm playing three Elixir of Iron and three Troll, Ch Troll Chant because um, our different followers are so important to keep in play, we really want to protect them. Aslo! There you go, thank you so much, Aslo. Almost got that donation deck going. Okay, that's a good Mystic Shot target. You know, I kept Mystic Shot for Zoe, but I will also Mystic Shot a goat. Trail of Evidence is probably pretty cool in their deck. Targon has such great two mana cards. You know, because like Trail of Evidence hitting Pale Cascade, that is something else. Evolution. So I want to use the one mana on the Ignition, but of course I kind of also want to keep Elixir of Iron available. Because if they have, you know, Thermogenic Beam, I'm going to want to Elixir of Iron. So I... I th Get excited. So 
So good call, not casting the ignition. dealt damage to their nexus in one turn so far. Sure, I'll just get you out of here. <clears throat> I don't have to worry about like that thing blocking now and dealing damage to my victor or anything. We can just move to open attacks. It seems like they are trying to be able to keep you know, be able to play Heimer, keep Heimer protected. Yep. And I did tap under the aftershock and let them do that. Interred improvement, also pretty good with Chump Lump. Here. What else do you got? So we have Tough, Overwhelm, and Spell Shield. So this next turn, I'm going to want to save enough mana for Field of Rush. So that means I can spend five mana this turn. <laughs> I already got those buff caps. I got four to five. Which means I don't get to play another jump lump. Ooh, quick attack. Quick attack's good. Teak Tree with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Teak Tree. Wow, tons of subs today. Y'all are amazing. Thanks for all the love. I know I haven't been playing the best, haven't been winning today, but y'all are amazing. Um, I guess I gotta worry a little bit about Hush. They only have three cards. It's not very many. And of course they had Hush. Okay, get to bank our three spell mana. We gotta feel the rush next turn. They should be casting this over another turret. Yep, that's smart. Levels up, Heimer. Alright, and that, that puff cap draw levels up Sejuani. RR. 
Uh, excuse you. Mm, this means I don't get to interrative improvement, chump lump. It's too bad. Guess I could have. It's just. Yeah, it's two extra damage if I would have blocked the storm lobber. Feel the rush. Another victor. Let's go. Alright, this is pretty awesome. 10 10. 10 10 overwhelm Sejuani. 12 4. Overwhelm, tough, quick attack. Victor. 10 10, other Victor. Okay, it doesn't affect both of them. Only that that one. Ooh, Scout? Oh, Scout is nice. So two victors in play, your creative cards cost two less. Let's see. Oh no, they conceded! No, we we're gonna do some cool stuff. All right, that was pretty awesome. All right, playing against some Gohard. So being able, the difficult part of this game is going to be able to, is going to be playing enough defense, right? Making the game go long, like having them not kill all my stuff and go wide and kill me. We're not very good at stopping decks that go wide. None of these cards are really a mulligan in my opening hand. So we'll just keep them all. I pull the strings. Alright, well I guess they have go hard. Good, just everything costs so little mana. And by turn three, they've played four cards. Okay, I like that brittle steel. That is good. Alright. <clears throat> they do, one thing they do is draw a lot of cards. So like these puff caps um, are going to be pretty decent how they do draw a lot of cards. Ooh, four four puff cap peddler. Especially if they do not kill this 3-1 Peddler. <clears throat> oh man, Crumble. I'll say next turn was going to be really crazy with the Chump Wall. With Triple Peddler. Um, so each one of these Mushroom Clouds giving them 14 Puff Caps. Taking it. Packed him good. Mm. 
concise their papers now faces. Safety is painted. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah, that's they do draw a lot of cards. So all these puff caps. Um yeah, you know, like they're gonna add up, that's for sure. That's keep up, keep up. That's our goal. That's going to be 36 puff caps. If this happens. Yeah, this deck's pretty fun. I'm, I'm liking this. Uh, drain two. Boo. I guess drain three. Technically. Going to be Mystic Shotting the Sprayfin. I'm down to nine. Okay, I guess now I can block there. I do want to preserve the life total. If they would have attacked with the pool shark also, I would have basically um, you know, blocked those. I, I would not have blocked the three two. So we've gotten 42 puff caps on them right now. Can you improve perfection? System upgrade. I th think that was the third go hard. I've kind of forgotten. Rise, no, maybe just the second. Okay, that was the second. They pass. All right, we'll pass two. Can you improve perfection? <clears throat> okay, good draw. Be nothing left when I'm done. Each turn we pass is good for me, right? Just gives them more opportunity to draw these puff caps, and I'm creating these ignitions. Yeah, both of our champions are in hiding. Haven't seen either champion yet. My opponent has played, I guess, just one of their champions. Um, I can't stop that. Aftershock too slow. But I can give them a whole bunch of puff caps, and now they got 60. And of course the Aftershock can do damage to them. Second drain three of the Doom Beast. Can you improve perfection? Hey, a champion. Only one puff cap? They drew zero last turn and one this turn. <laughs> and each card has an average of two puff caps. So they are due for some puff caps. Like, if I play Victor, are they going to play Ruination as soon as I play Victor? Yeah, that's basically what this is. It's, it's like a it's a mushroom control deck kind of thing. Yeah, the, yeah this is a definitely a control deck that we're playing. Um, Bree says, don't play Victor. All right, let's see what they do first. They're passing. <sighs> Passes are still good for me. They've played two go hard so far. All right, well, I got backup Victor. Victor's spell is the Death Ray. 
Yuck. Yeah, draw your cards. Go ahead. You wanna draw seven cards? I'll let you draw seven. Only one puff cap? How are they just not drawing puff caps? They've drawn like two puff caps in the last four cards. All right, well, that's not that's not the uh, sign of somebody that's going to play a ruination. Join me if you want to live. If you want to live. Well, you're not. I would say you're not doing that, Ballistic Bot. You're not having your opponent live. Oh. They did play three Gohards already. I guess I missed the third one. Okay, so that puts me down to four... Let's go plus minus there. Elusive. Rude. My work. Flesh is a weakness we must shed. All right, let's put them down to three. Let's see, they draw three puff caps again. That's like a 50 50 shot whether or not they draw three puff caps. Just one. Well, we're doing good drawing our champions now, right? Like, I complained about not drawing, you know, saying that we couldn't find Victor or Sejuani, and then since then we drew Victor, 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 Sejuani. Those have been our last four draws. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Let's get to it. We could use a bite. I am not taking that one point of damage. I'm not taking one point of damage. All right, we got Scooter Victor. Yeah, so they were—they were just sitting on a bunch of ruinations and vengeance, you know, like a bunch of vengeance and ruination. Okay, let's. Have them draw three puff caps. Are you kidding me? Another Sejuani? You <laughs> so we went Victor, 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 Sejuani, Sejuani. Full house. Full house of champs. We survive. So question is, what about Hexcore Foundry Landmark in this deck would make enemy draw mushrooms and level up Sejuani? That is true, and this deck, you know, we don't really have very much card draw, so we do kind of run out of cards. Um, I'm, I'm worried, though, the thing about our deck is we're, we're usually good, so the hex score, that is good, like, with the, the longer games. But the thing is, is I think our deck's already good with the longer games. What I'm worried about is, and, like, this hand up, we're bad against Zoe. Hopefully no turn one Zoe. 
but I, I, I don't want to mulligan this, though, but we're bad against Zoe. Good. Not turn one, Zoe. Anyway, um, I'm not really worried about the long games. Like I said, like this deck's good against the long games. What this deck is bad against are the aggro decks, and you don't have time to play hex core against aggro decks. So it's it doesn't help your bad matchup. It makes your good matchups better. And I, I so basically, I just don't think we need it. I don't think we need to make our good matchups better. All right, Metal Brethren, this is going to be a bunch of back and forths. So I think they have Mystic Shot. I think this attack says, I have Mystic Shot. I think that's what this attack says. Best not ruffle our feathers. This would be a good winter. I don't get the free Ignition. But this makes it so we don't, you know, I'm not taking like the damage here because as you see with these matchups, the damage can definitely matter. So they have Pale Cascade plus Mystic Shot. That's worse for me. Safety disengaged. Who goes there? Who goes there? Join the glorious evolution. Darn, they the have the champion. We have a good setup, but we don't have a champion. They have a champion. Okay, so I can Aftershock and Mystic Shot together. Take down Victor. Lifesteal. Interesting. Blessed by snow and stars. Prime and ready. It's fine. Okay, so no mystic shot. Like, if they cast Ignition, I get to cast Ignition. No, maybe I just cast mine. I see I need to keep the bot alive from the Mystic Shot, but I think it's it's probably just better just to cast this. And hope they don't have Mystic Shot. There we go. One Star's Whoopsie is another spark. Our top unit right now is about to have plus 10, plus 10, I think. Like, we haven't drawn a, a unit. We've been getting a bunch of bonuses, and we haven't drawn any unit yet. Like, we're going to have something that's going to be absolutely huge. And I hope it's Sejuani. Quick attack. This would be a good winter. Gravity, which side was upside again? Whichever way the paint drips, Zoe. Blessed by snow and stars. They must all improve. Got a danger noodle. <laughs> we can't draw a unit. Dude, we're gonna have a unit that's gonna be ridiculous. We are gonna have something that's gonna be huge. But too bad, you know, they just had the champion. You know, that's basically that's just the difference in this game. They had champions, I didn't. 
stars. System upgrade. Oh, an auspicious season. I gotta figure out how to deal with these things, but this is a start. Metal is perfection. My work. That's a start. Sejuani? Sejuani? Come on. Dude, seriously, we're gonna have something that's gonna be like plus 16, plus 16. Or something ridiculous like that. Like, seriously, something completely ridiculous. Meow, 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 meow. This would be a good winter. <laughs> so I made this attack with the Starlet Seers to put the Sub Percival down to three health so they can kill Sub Percival with Aftershock. No, no, no. I guess that may not be enough. Um, I guess I, I can just Brittle Steal that. They're at seven. Fire nothing moves. Can you improve perfection? Blessed by snow and stars. See, I'm like dead to like pill cascade and stuff. I guess I aftershock the sub Percible and then brittle steel Zoe. I mean, we're still dead to to pill cascade. So maybe I just brittle steal the sub Percible and just take the hit and try to aftershock them, kill them with that. Let's see. So I'm, okay, so I'm only gonna make one ignition. So I'm only making one ignition. This would be a good winter. I need them to draw a cap for me. Wow. We didn't draw a unit the entire game. Literally the entire game. We played we played Starless here on turn two. Right? And we never. And we never drew a unit. Also, they didn't, you know, they didn't draw the puff cap. If they would have just drawn a puff cap here, I could have, you know, maybe, like, you know, tried to uh, get lethal on them. But now, let's see, Troll Chant's good, though. Troll Chant's good. That thing's at 9 out of 10. Um, round nine. Why didn't they just draw a puff cap? Why couldn't they have just drawn a puff cap? Or, you know, I draw like a unit or something. Man, we got we had some bad luck there. We didn't draw a single unit. Cause like that thing had to have been a, probably around plus 2020, honestly. Like I think, I think it would have been about plus 2020. 
Okay. So another Zoe deck, this time with Swain. I don't know what kind of high note I was trying to hit there with Swain. Ballistic Bot and Improvement. I like that. You know, I like that combo. We're, we, again, I, I don't have anything for, like, turn one Zoe, right? Like, I, I don't really have removal for Zoe, so I, I hope they don't have Zoe. Um, flash Freeze, I can kind of take her to leave it. It's, I think it's nice to have access to. I'll just keep, I'll just take it. Cool, there's Mystic Shot. That, good. So we found something to deal with Zoe A, and they also did not have Zoe B. Those are both good. And they did not. Thermogenic Beam, my Ballistic Bot, that is good. Oh, Paddle Star? That's a card? Okay, well, I gotta, I gotta know not to attack next time. I should not have attacked. Paddle Star. Have a mushroom. Yeah, I shouldn't have attacked. I need that Imperative Improvement. Imperative, not that's not it. In, interative Improvement. But, you know, like, Sejuani makes you want to attack. Yeah, I didn't, um... Basically, yeah, Shared Spoils... Shared Spoils would have been great last last game, right? You know, drawing that top ally would have been great. But I did... I replaced Shared Spoils with the Interative Improvement... ...for this deck. Okay. The problem with playing Improvement than another Peddler is I didn't have Elixir of Iron... ...available. I did that. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. There they go. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. You know what we've done really bad with? We've done really bad at drawing champions. Right? Like we're very bad at drawing champions. We we had those we had that uh the five turn in game number two, those five turns in a row where we drew Five champions in a row, five turns. That was amazing. But besides that, we have not drawn our champions well. Hey, Midi Doug. With our tier one sub. Thank you, Midi Doug. Oh, I don't have mana for you, Troll Chant. I appreciate that. No, I don't think we should play Entreat, just because we've had a couple of games where we have been very poor at drawing champions. I don't think that means that we need Entreat. Hey, how about that? Victor? He's so boring! He doesn't even like cake or cake! You will have no cake! You, <laughs> you will have no cake. Portal me something? Okay, yeah, German Potato, to get the sub rank in the Discord, it's it's something that's, like, automatic. You have to just link your... It's nothing that I do. You have to just link your Twitch account and your Discord account. Make sure, like, that they're linked. Um, you, you can Google search how to link them. Just make sure that they're linked, and then it's automatic. The process takes... Uh, usually takes, like, an hour or two. Also, like, after you link it, it won't show up immediately. It's like something that like Discord updates like I think it's like a thing like Discord updates it like every hour or so. So it's just an automatic process. Oh yeah, yeah, I love Grand Plaza with Katarina. Yep. We've done that. That is an awesome combination. For sure Z's. I got ways to find me mushrooms. My light shines. I'm going to troll chant to keep their Zoe from hitting me. Regen? That's cool. Alright, time to start giving them a ton of puff caps. Come on, brilliant design. 
<clears throat> Alright, they got 43. Genius in action. There we go. Ingenious. So that's going to be number 6, or maybe that is number 5 right now. I think that's about to be number 6, I think. No materials, no improvements. Fury. Fury could be interesting. Why are they so worried about that puff cap peddler? I know they have like a full board, so it's like not great to use removal on a full board, but I don't really want to. Like I could attack and flash freeze, but I don't, I don't really want to do that. But let me just get rid of this Zoe. And then I'm going to pass. I'm not going to play Aftershock and tap out from that kind of card. Okay, well now that we've used that mana, now maybe I should attack and flash freeze. Believe or burn. Genius in action. All right, gonna sit here for a second, pretend like I have some kind of protection that I am thinking about playing. Decide not to. Pass to me. Yes, no ravenous lock. Good. Now this is good. Like, there's a big difference between five and four with their deck, so this is important getting Victor to five health. We've had a lot of interesting games. <laughs> with this deck. The only thing that we're kind of missing is a little bit more card draw, probably. Lifesteal? Love it. They had the two Solari Priestesses earlier, so one Solari Priestess grabbed this Golden Sister. That was what the other one did. Join the glorious evolution. It always gives a different keyword. You cannot duplicate keywords because you can't have like double overwhelm, right? Like, so you always get a different keyword. Yes, of course. The reason why I'm not casting Aftershock on their 4-3 is because like their board is full. If I do that, it just gives them the opportunity to play something without um, consequence. <laughs> I think that'll level up Victor. It's not like level of Victor does a whole lot for me right now. I don't have that many creative cards. My work. Okay, so that just fizzled. My spirit shines. Silence, and they can't block this round. There they go. What a mushroom help. Down to three. One. Really wanted to, you know, like it's basically 
should we cast other flash trees? But it, it has seemed like we need like a couple progress days in here, right? Like we've wasted so much mana over all of these turns. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. That's what it feels like. So you know, like these two games against the Targon decks, I just haven't had very many cards. My pretty. Haven't had enough cards, at least. All right, they're down to seven. Ouch. The hour is mine. And we take exactly one point of damage. That's too bad. Exactly one point of damage. How did that? Wait. I guess so. We still haven't drawn anything with the Puffcat Peddler. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Or like you know, like after the Starlet Seer kind of thing. We still haven't drawn anything. So the main the main question is how do we fit more card draw in here? Do we just, just don't have enough. I think that maybe maybe over an interrogative improvement. Okay, so we're, we're going to make one small little change. We're going to take out one Interative Improvement. We're just going to, instead of getting another card draw spell, I'm just going to get another Feel the Rush in here, because Feel the Rush uh, should end the game with these things. So we want we need one more like expensive top-end card. So that's what we're going to do. And another, another Zoe deck. Zoe, Diana, all Targon. Um, this one's going to be pretty tricky. I think that the other two decks are probably going to be better matchups. For me than this one, because this should be a lot more aggressive. All right, I'm just keeping Sejuani this time. We'll see if it pays off or not. We have the attack token on turn six, and I think that that's pretty important. I have to Mystic Shot next turn, so it's basically, you know, do we want to play bot or hold on to mana and then next turn play Peddler to go along with the Mystic Shot? I'll just go ahead and play a bot. My faith protects me. I think our deck's really close, but, you know, it's just all these Targon decks, they're... We're just barely losing these things. And we haven't had... This game, at least, will have a little bit of top end. To help us out. You know, we haven't seen Sejuani in, in the previous games or feel the rush in the previous games we've lost. Humanity is obsolete. So not playing an ignition this turn. Next turn we'd play one ignition. I play Peddler Ignition. They're looking for Equinox. It's always really good. It's always definitely underrated. Prime and ready. Have a mushroom. Have three. We chart our path. Ah, the they hit the allegiance. That's pretty lucky. Well, you can see our plan is going to be these three cards right here. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. I know, right? Very lucky to hit that allegiance. One star's whoopsie is another spy. I didn't think they were going to. 
and Mono Targon, but they got pretty lucky. Do I block the 3 2? I think that's like the big question. Kind of feels like I'm supposed to block the 3 2. But I don't wanna. We'll see if I regret this. But I need to protect the life total. Safety disengaged. You own what you take. All right, we got a Sejuani. I should I should attack with Peddler because of Hush, shouldn't I? Oh, they just hushed their own thing. Hmm. Yeah, I should have attacked with Peddler. I just you know attacked with the larger thing just instinctively. Be okay though. Miss a shot, good. Good Zoe removal spell. So you know, it's basically do I, you know, I can keep. If I play Chump Womp, I don't, I'm not gonna have the mana for Field of Rush, or we can keep the, the mana for Field of Rush available for next turn. And I think that's where I am. I think I want to keep the mana for Field of Rush available for next turn. They grow up so fast. Hey, you brought back my favorite star! Oh. So they do protect Zoe, I'll have Aftershock. Isn't the best play against a new Zoe though, like a new, new Zoe next turn. All right, I know I'd like to play the Mushroom Cloud, but I don't, they have all that mana. I want them to waste that mana. No Puff Cap drawn again. We haven't done that good of our opponents drawing Puff Caps. All right, feel the rush. So they're looking for the nine mana card that obliterates two things. I really hope they don't find that. I could attack immediately. Four out of five. But I do want to, you know, do the whole hex core upgrade and everything. I don't think I attack immediately. Blessed by snow and stars. I got a scout. Got rewarded for not attacking immediately. No. We may also get. Punished at the same time. Hopefully not. Oh, gravity. Which side was upside again? Whichever way the paint drips, Zoe. Submit. This is the third Zoe, right? We've Mystic Shot 2 in this game. I think so. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish. 
Moon Sister. Victor goes down to one health. They have all Solari soldiers in hand. I can, <laughs> we can do, we can deal with Solari soldier. So that's good seeing that card. Well, they have a whole bunch of those kind of cards. Get more Lunari dusk bringers and Solari soldier. That is just fine with me. All right, finally have Sejuani leveled up. Plus seven, plus seven, puff cap peddler, yay! <laughs> we have we have been doing very poor at drawing our units with the Starlet Seer these games. We just haven't done that. Or like that that game three, right? Like we would have had like plus twenty, plus twenty on something with a couple like a Starlet Seer on turn two, Starlet Seer on turn three, and we never drew a single unit the entire game. <laughs> it would have been like plus twenty, plus twenty or so with our ballistic bots and everything. All right, going after Shock Face to, to Frostbite the team, especially the Solari Sunforger. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. We'll play another Peddler before the Hexcore upgrade. Yeah, we got... <laughs> we got another Field of Rush, basically. Sunlight fades behind the moon. All right, metal. If you're perfection, what do you get? Fearsome. All right, fearsome scout. Oh, that almost kills me. Almost kills me. But they drew the puff caps. There we go. GGs. Oh, I didn't update our record from last time, so that's three and two. Whew, that was close. That one was a close one. All right, well, this deck was really cool, though. This was this was a lot of fun to play. You just kind of sit back and let your Ballistic Bot, Starlet Seer, Puff Cat Peddler, or that's probably not how you pronounce that, <laughs> Puff Cat Peddler, uh, let them all just accrue value turn after turn after turn. Um, and yeah, we got that second Feel the Rush in there. Um, I think that that definitely helped. You know, between Feel the Rush or like Progress Day, you probably need some kind of card draw spell in here um, or like some kind of finisher, right? So like that game, we saw that we had Sejuani. They obliterated our first Sejuani, but then we had Feel the Rush. So we actually had some finishers that game, but this is just fun to play. It's really fun to give your opponent tons and tons of buff caps. That's fun. It's fun to sit back and give Victor tons of keywords. That's also fun. Um, and then, you know, the the Ballistic Bot just doing one damage to the opponent's Nexus each turn levels up your Sejuani. So there's just, like, fun stuff in here. You know, granting your top ally in your deck plus one plus one is a lot of fun, especially when you draw that ally. That's kind of a key part of that scenario. So a very fun deck to play. Um, I wanted to protect the units that we had in play. You can see with the Troll Chance and the Elixir of Irons, really wanted to protect those um and yeah so there we go so we ended up going three and two and um i think our deck felt pretty good though i think it felt it felt like a deck that i was i think that like three two was kind of like the lower end on a record with this deck it, it felt strong it did it felt like you know we we both of those losses we just didn't have any kind of top end cards you know like we know we never drew like victor sejuani feel the rush 
in a, both of our losses. And especially that, that game number three felt really unlucky how we didn't draw a single unit the entire time with Starlet Seer just owning up. All right, but there we go. So that's um, that's Victor Sejuani. Yes. So shared spoil. Yeah, shared spoils does work in here for sure. Like shared spoils is good with Ballistic Bot too. Um, the person that donated for this deck wanted to try Interative Improvement, and so that's kind of like in the shared spoils slot. Um, you you could go you could go shared spoils instead instead of Interative Improvement though. Definitely. Um, yeah. I yeah. We basically tried the improvement, but shared spoils would help draw into your deck, which would help with Starlet Seer more um so yeah you can switch that out i don't i don't know if i'd want to just put starlet seer in over like some of this other stuff though um but yeah if you want to if you want to take out improvement want to put in shared spoils absolutely that is good too all right anyway that's victor sejuani those y'all watching later on youtube Hit that like button over there, and of course, leave those comments as well. I love seeing those. Let me know what you think of the deck. Uh, if you try it out yourself, you know, how's it going for you? Anything like that, I, I appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching some Victor Sejuani, and I'll see you for the next video.